Now, Jimmy, a lot of manufacturers say their products are flexible, but in the case of uh, the Bose F1 Flexible Array, it's uh, literally true. It, it is. Look at this. It bends, and it bends <laughs> here as well. This is the C configuration. This is a reverse J. This is straight, and this is a possibly recognisable J, J configuration. Curve. Yeah, this is actually the, the, the simplest form of beam steering I think I've ever seen. Yeah, physically point the speakers where you want the sound to go. Yeah. Um, <laughs> essentially, this is the Bose Flexible Array loudspeaker system. We've got the uh, F1 Model 812 on top mm -hmm. and the F1 subwoofer underneath, which is dual tens. This uh, array has eight two and a quarter inch drivers, each mounted on individual waveguides. Mm -hmm. So horizontal coverage is normally 100 degrees and vertical coverage is affected by what you do with the baffles. Mm -hmm. um, and, and these are held in place with magnets and when you click them around, uh, it changes its internal processing. It's bi-amplified, so the eight drivers all run off one amplifier channel and behind those, there's a 12 inch driver which runs off another amplified channel. So there's a deceptively large amount of power mm. coming out of this thing. Um, we stuck a, an SPL meter in front of it and got some quite staggering yep. results, to yeah, be honest. It goes. Uh, it does. And look, I think for my mind, visually Bose has always made nice looking products. Mm. And this is no exception to that. You know, there's like little cable guides in the back of the stand and everything. But sonically, this is the most well-balanced Bose product yeah, I've ever heard. It was to my ear as well. There's nothing sort of suspiciously processed or ported there's or no weird holes. Or there's no weird spikes. lumps. There's nothing overemphasized. It's, it's honest. It is honest. Yeah. I totally agree that with that. I found that really quite pleasantly surprising. Mm. Yeah. And um, I think that means this is going to end up in places we possibly have not seen this brand name before. Yeah. And look, I think the fact that you can actually deploy it into a number of different situations where your audience position varies, whether it's on a stage and the audience is down there, so you use the J curve, or you've got a, a stepped mm. house, so you use the reverse J mm. or a C, or you're just putting it mm. at floor level. Yep, ground stage. You know, Mm. DJ, whatever. Well, I'm, I'm um, actually particularly impressed by the uh, the mount. It's actually, you, you take this off and it actually clips into the subwoofer. Yes, it's just it does. neat and tidy and simple and you're not carrying around extra poles. And I mean, you can, you can do that if you want. It's two pieces. But, you can yeah. carry this whole PA system mm. half in each hand. Yeah. And, you know, the amount, what you get out of it's good. I, I think they've done really well with this. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's original. It's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like it. I can't think of anything like it on the market either. Um, it's it's certainly, I think, you know, a nice example of how Bose do things their own way. Mm. But also they've you know they've done things like they've put a phase reverse switch on the subwoofer, so yeah. you're not just stuck using it with the A12. You mm. can use it with another speaker if you want. Mm. Uh, and and so I think it's nice that they've uh, extended that level of interoperability into yeah. the product as oh, well. Look, original design and thinking that's actually got a great sound. Yeah, there you go. Well, thanks very much for watching the review. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. We'll see you next time.